All right, we are back. Welcome back to Cooking with Jacqueline Carr. It is your favorite singing country gal, and I'm very geeked about this episode because I'm making one of my favorite dishes, and it happens to be one of my specialties, okay? We're making baked mac and cheese, southern baked mac and cheese. So we have all of our ingredients here, all of our cheeses and different, different things like that. And uh, we have our noodles, and now we're gonna put it onto the stove. We already have our water boiling, salt water boiling, and now we're gonna just add our noodles into it. All right, now we're gonna add our noodles to our boiling water. All right, we have our noodles on the stove. We're gonna cook them until they are al dente. But in, in the meantime, we have to do the challenge. I have to answer 10 questions in 30 seconds. If I accomplish that, we already know I've won. If not, I failed. Okay, so let's go. Lipstick or gloss? Who? A uh, gloss. If you could write a movie, would it be a comedy or a romance? It's definitely a comedy. College football or NFL? NFL. What's your favorite team? Cow Cowboys. Go Cowboys! <laughs> Country living or city, city girl? Uh, country living. We all know these things. What's the most surprising thing a fan has done? Um, I would probably say cry when they saw me. Yeah. If stuck on the island, the one thing you would need? The one thing I would need, I, I'm going to need one of those radio things that, you know, people can, I can talk to people so they can know I'm straight. Pizza, pepperoni or cheese? Cheese. Oh, gosh. I have failed. Oh, my goodness. Okay, we're gonna do better. We're gonna, we're gonna shoot for it again next episode of Cooking with Jacqueline Carr. But you guys always ask me to do these dance moves, and so this episode we are going to do the Dougie. And I can't do it by myself. I gotta have my little god sister um, so that she can, you know, help me do it. All right, Naraya Smith. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, you ready? So you gotta teach me, you gotta, you gotta teach me how to. <laughs> okay, one, two, three, go. Hey! <laughs> did, I, did I do it right? Awesome! <laughs> okay, so we're gonna check out our noodles and then we're gonna come back and mix all of this together so that we can put our baked mac and cheese into the oven. Alright! We have our noodles in our bowl, and now we're going to add the rest of our ingredients that makes up our southern baked mac and cheese. So we're going to have our Colby and Monterey Jack cheese in here. We have our sharp cheddar cheese. Now, if you like me, I love to put the emphasis on the cheese. You know, when it comes to my southern baked mac and cheese, I love cheese, okay? So I just put as much as I want to of this, which is the Belvedere cheese, into my baked mac and cheese. I kind of eye it pretty much. But anyway, so we have that. And then we have our eggs. Uno. We have our one and half a cup of milk. We have our half a cup of heavy whipping cream. Got all that together. I like to keep, keep a clean station. So there's that. And now we're gonna add in some pepper. You season it, of course, to your preference. That, got some salt. I'm gonna add in here. Make sure it's really nice and seasoned. So you don't want any bland baked mac and cheese. So we got a little paprika. Just put a little bit up in there. And then I also like to add some paprika on the top of it. This time. Okay. And we're just gonna give it a nice stir. After we have given it a nice stir, make sure it's 
all nice and blended up eggs and all that. And now, going to pour into our pan. Pour it over. Pour it over. Pour it all over. that done, and we're going to just even it out a little bit, it's just a personal thing, even it out. Really nice. Make all those juices are in there. Then I'm going to take some sharp cheddar, and I'm going to cover our mac and cheese very nicely. We're going to cover it. We're going to sit it. <laughs> I just don't like any, any part uncovered. Okay, so it was just a little bit left in there. Got it all nice, nicely covered. Then we're gonna sprinkle a little paprika at the top and we're gonna pop it into the oven. Alright. Put it in the oven. Okay, we're gonna pop our mac and cheese into the oven and we're gonna let it bake for about 35 to 40 minutes. Mm. Gotta be even. Okay, turn on our timer. Now that we got it into the oven, we're gonna let it bake again, 35 to 40 minutes. And then we're gonna, once it's done, we're gonna let it sit for about 10 to 15 minutes. And just all that goodness, just all that goodness. But anyway, I'll meet you back at the counter. Okay, so our mac and cheese is almost done. Once we take it out, we're gonna sit it up here and we're gonna allow it to sit for about 10 to 15 minutes so all that goodness can come together, okay? It's gonna be so good, it's smelling good, it's looking good, and there goes our timer. Here we go. Let's pull it on out. Oh my God. Oh my goodness gracious, it's so cheesy. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna let it sit, like I said, for about 10 to 15 minutes, and then bone appetit, y'all. All right, we have our baked mac and cheese out of the oven, and now we are getting ready to feast on this. I'm so excited, like I'm really excited. Whew, this is one of my favorite dishes. And as I always say, the key is to always get that corn. All right, and I'm here, and I'm going to say the grace, and then we're going to feast. Father God, in the name of Jesus, thank you so much for this food I'm about to receive, and let it be nourishment to my body. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Bon Good Ooh, look at the cheese. Look at the cheese. Very hot, make sure you go. I need a moment to take all of this in. This is good. This is delicious. You surprised yourself, girl, I showed you. 
Mmm, <laughs> good. I'm gonna finish eating this. Thank you so much for tuning in to Cooking with G. Kaylin. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all of my social media, which is on the screen. Until next time, keep on cooking.